Hi, I'm Dr. Carrie Lam, and I'm here with my father, Dr. Michael Lam. Um, today, we're going to talk about how to recover from adrenal crashes. You've been in many crashes before, right? Uh, I'm fortunately too many to mention. Yeah, can you kind of tell us about it? Well, um, crash is simply a way that, uh, of the body showing us to slow down. You know, I would be um, one minute uh, doing very well in running around, and then the second minute or soon after feel an energy slump. It's so overwhelming that I have to sit down or go to lay down on the couch or even bed bound. And this can, in my case, last for days and even uh, for a longer period of time. Mm. And are most, um, do most people with adrenal fatigue kind of have these kind of crashes? Um, unfortunately, the answer is yes. And there's no such thing as a good crash. Uh, if adrenal fatigue is at a point where the nutritional reserve to generate energy is to such a low level, then one of the classic, classic experience people have to come to me is that uh, the complaint of adrenal crashes. Mm. And so can you kind of tell us what is an adrenal crash? What causes it? Well, if you use the analogy, as I said earlier, about a car running out of steam, our body's ability to move from point A to point B, whether it's to get up or to go and do exercise, is based on our energy reserve. Energy comes from nutrition. And if your energy is not being able to keep up with the demand, then the body will perceive it as a threat to survival. Mm -hmm. And so like the polar bear who has no food anticipated in the winter, it automatically shut down to go into hibernation. The problem with us uh, during our daily living in the modern world is that we don't allow the body to do that. So the body has no choice but to just force us and punish us. And that's what a crash is. No. So unlike polar bears that can kind of store everything, we aren't able to do that as well. Well, we can store some, but when that reserve runs out, it typically in the adrenal fatigue, we call it a reactive hypoglycemic, which is what I went through. I could be eating, uh, but then two hours later, I would be irritable, I'd be fatigued, and I had always have to keep food with me. I, in addition to food, I also have to keep well hydrated. I carry a water bottle with me all the time. That's why I, I, I call my clients these uh, water water bottle babies in order to keep hydrated, to keep my blood pressure up uh, because metabolically I'm so weak that I have a lot of turbulence inside my body and mm -hmm. that's what compounds the already low energy state, make us more bad ridden. Mm -hmm. Right, I remember you used to say even the wind blows and you can crash. Is it that sensitive? You know, it, 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 nobody would believe these things. You know, I went through this myself. You know, I would be in the car. If the car is swaying left and right too much, I would start to yawn and I would start crashing. Uh, if I open the refrigerator door and a, 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 a puff of cold air comes to me, I would get sensitized. And, and now I learn that these are all signs and subtle, subtle signs, but nobody pays attention to and nobody understands what it is. But really, it is a trigger of a already irritable body that's so low in reserve, it doesn't have the ability to stabilize itself. So it's so fragile. And the only way the body knows what to do when you hit those fragile state is to crash. Mm. So what, what is going on in your body? What organ systems are affected and uh, how well, can you do that? Almost all systems are affected from the heart to the brain. The brain fog comes up, you know, the heart palpitation can occur, anxiety in the brain, metabolically, the reactive hypoglycemia, you know, all these symptoms. But the primary thing is just an overall low energy state beyond what you're used to. Okay. So, you know, what people that are watching this right now, they want to know, how can I recover from adrenal crashes? Well, what can you tell them? Uh, the, the first thing with adrenal crashes that I've experienced through the many, many crashes that I went through is you don't want to get worse because there's no such thing as a good crash. A good crash is like you're stretching the rubber band. Sometimes the body will recover on its own. And you give enough time, majority of people will have some form of recovery. But you don't want to relapse. You don't want to go backwards. And the best thing to do is to have someone who knows what they're doing to be able to spot for you to be able to see where you are at which point, at which stage of the recovery and the crash cycle so that it can help you with nutrition to propel you, to reset the body and not make it keep going down, which is what happens to a lot of people. They go down, they, their body recovers spontaneously, naturally, but not 100% because they never have the nutrition to prop it up mm -hmm. properly. And then they crash again. So repeated crashes is the worst thing that can happen. And the way to avoid that is to have the proper people who knows what they're doing, a support group, professionals who can guide you. 
Right, because there is a difference between people who can clear versus people who can't clear. Is that right? Yeah, so this is one of the biggest uh, dilemma, so to say, in, in the crash and recovery management, is that some people uh, do well with more aggressive uh, supplementation and lifestyle changes during a crash, while other people can get worse. Well, how do you know which one you are in? And you will not know if you are not a professional dealing with this every day. But I know because I track my clients, I know what they've gone through, I give them challenges ahead of time. So I already know what kind of body they have. So I don't wait for the crash to come on. I already anticipate what they need to do and I structure a, like an emergency kit to say, okay, if you have a crash that comes on, I may not be around, it may happen in the middle of the night, but these are things that you can do automatically. You don't have to wait because when you wait, you're already behind the ball. Right, so people who are in a crash right now can call into our office, talk to Dr. Lam or our team at 626-571-1234 and we can talk to you while you're in the middle of your crash. Yeah, and if you, uh, you know, if it's, uh, you can also go to my website, you can ask me questions, you can describe, you know, and I'll try my best to help you as well. So what does actually recovery look like from a crash? Is it an instant thing or does it get better step by step? Uh, Instant recoveries are usually undesirable and usually that is um, a reflection of people trying to use stimulants to get fast uh, recovery. Because a fast recovery that's like a V-shaped recovery will generally be followed by a W-shaped relapse. Mm -hmm. The recovery must happen properly with the body first stabilized, then prepare, and then you hit the infliction point like an airplane taking off. And then the body will then start to recover nicely and not come back. You don't want to uh, have a recovery and then a relapse. That's the worst thing that can happen to our body. So step by step kind of taking off. For well, your yeah, body. The, the kickoff process must be professionally done because if you don't, then you can, as I said, uh, not only relapse, but when you relapse, the second or third crashes generally are even more severe than the first mm -hmm. time because you have lo lost that elasticity to rebound. Okay. So the number one thing you want our clients who are watching this video to know if you have a crash. What is that? Call your coach. You know, let them know what's going on. Don't try to figure this out yourself because you can make mistakes. And if you make mistakes, you make things worse. You're better off to do nothing and then seek professional opinion than to try things. Right. So call our office. If you need help, we're here to help you at 626-571-1234 and we'll walk you through when you're having a crash. All right. So thank you for watching with us and thank you for telling us about your crash and how to recover from them.